Sony is pulling all of the betrayals. I know the reason why Sony is not doing this is not allowing you to transfer states on the PS4 so we can make you make sure you buy the seventy dollar version of Spider Man. But Spider Man Remastered for the PS5 will not be gained a transfer from the PS4. You have to buy the seventy dollar version of Spider Man Miles Morales or else. There's only one choice. And Sony is just really, 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 really pushing it here, okay? First, you have to pay $70 to buy. Again, you have to actually gain two games in one, so it kind of makes more sense now. They're, they're pushing this, but again, most people already who go buy Spider-Man Miles Morales already played Spider-Man for the PS4. Again, Spider-Man for the PS4 is considered a good experience, and basically paying for two games and free deal and all of the deal and the free and the DLC, all the DLCs, but... Again, this is just com this is just typical Sony doing this again. You know, only this is Sony's the Sony's probably one of the few companies that will do this type of stuff, and they have been do they have basically been becoming so arrogant and stuff. They have it's be they they don't have the price of as like they had the last generation. They don't. The price is the same price as the Xbox. The price is not that much different. And now they're saying that you can't play Spider Man PS4 backwards compatible with PS5. I won't be surprised if the same would be true for Horizon Zero Dawn or any game that's getting a sequel on the PS5 in the foreseeable future. Yes, you can play games like Detroit Become Human on the PS4 for only if you have, of course, PS Plus, but still it means you have to pay to play the game. <laughs> you don't get it for, you can't play it if you have, of course, a PS4 disc. No, that's not how it works for Sony. Of course, we all know Xbox still going to continue with the backwards compatibility, but Sony... They don't like backwards compatibility. They don't like it. They hate it. They hate backwards compatibility. They hate it so much that they're going to make sure that it doesn't happen. There. Okay. And yeah, basically it's the same game you already played. You get, you get better looking characters with improved stuff. Oh yeah, so slightly improved graphics with the PS5. Because that's what basically what it is. You get slightly improved graphics. That don't well, that look almost like exactly the same as the PS4. The graphics look so the the graphics always look so great on next gen. You won't really see much of a difference with newer games. You won't really see much of a difference because PS there are the only difference is you can play games in 4K. That's the only real difference. And no, and this is and the and the fact that we have to pay thirty dollars for a game that people already likely have played. It's just more proof that Sony is just ruining this console generation. Okay. You know, Sony is basically doing everything to, you know, the pre-order disaster. You know, the fact that they can't get Resident Evil 8 running according to multiple rumors. The fact that the console is weaker than the Xbox according to multiple rumors and PC. You know, of course, PC is always a heads up with the consoles. But it's always up with the consoles. But they can't they can't catch up to the Xbox at all. And now they're starting all the games, new games for $70. It's only Sony, not Microsoft. Only Sony that's doing this. And it's basically making everybody make so you have to pay seventy dollars for every game, and people and all the people are still of course buying it. All the people of course buying the garbage PS Five, which again, you know, because of course all the Sony fanboys and Sony people of course buy it anyway, no matter what. But yep, that's basically it. Goodbye.